Multiple myeloma is a type of cancer that affects a type of white blood cell called plasma cell. It is a relatively uncommon cancer, and the lifetime risk of getting multiple myeloma is 1 in 132 in the United States. When B-type lymphocytes respond to an infection, they undergo maturation and change into plasma cells. Plasma cells help fight infections by producing antibodies that identify and attack the invading microbes. In general, when plasma cells become cancerous, they make an abnormal protein known by several different names, such as monoclonal immunoglobulin, monoclonal protein, M-spike, or paraprotein. It is still not known exactly what causes most cases of multiple myeloma. It is believed that it is caused by defects in the DNA that turn on cancer-causing genes, also called as oncogenes, or turn off tumor suppressor genes. Recent research has found that abnormalities of some oncogenes, such as MYC, develop early in the course of plasma cell tumors. The risk of developing multiple myeloma goes up as people get older, and most patients are at least 65 years old. Men are slightly more prone to develop multiple myeloma than women. Being overweight or obese, previous exposure to radiations, genetic abnormalities, as well as having other plasma cell diseases, such as monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, or solitary plasma cytoma add up to the chances of developing multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma may not produce any symptoms in the early stages, but eventually, a wide range of signs and symptoms can be expected. The most common symptom is bone pain, usually involving the lower back or ribs. In most cases, this pain is worsened by the movement. These patients are very susceptible to fractures and may experience repeated fractures of affected bones. The bones of the spine may undergo collapse, causing spinal cord compression. Compression of the spinal cord gives rise to pain, weakness, and numbness in the arms and legs. Patients may experience low levels of circulating red blood cells resulting in weakness, dizziness, fatigue, and shortness of breath. Due to low levels of platelets, the patients may suffer abnormal bleeding episodes that often cause purplish discoloration of the skin, repeated nosebleeds, gum bleeding, or bleeding from other body sites. There may be abnormal accumulation of calcium, causing nausea, loss of appetite, fatigue, abdominal pain, muscle pain and weakness, excessive thirst, and confusion. In some cases, the patients develop kidney damage, abnormal enlargement of liver or spleen, or hyperviscosity syndrome. A diagnosis of multiple myeloma is made based by a thorough clinical examination, a detailed patient history, and a variety of lab tests. Such tests may include bone marrow biopsy or aspiration, blood tests to detect levels of white blood cells, and various imaging techniques, including MRI, CT, and PET scanning. A test that makes use of electric currents to sort proteins in the blood or urine is valuable in detection of elevated levels of M proteins. An immunoglobulin free light chain assay of blood holds the standard value for the diagnosis. The types of systemic therapies used for multiple myeloma include chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Chemotherapy drugs for the treatment of myeloma include cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, melphalan, etoposide, cisplatin, and carmistine. Targeted therapy is a treatment that targets the cancer-specific proteins, cell receptors, or the tissue environment that contributes to cancer growth and survival. Targeted therapy for multiple myeloma includes bortezomib, carfilzomib, ixazomib, panabinostat, ilotuzumab, daratumumab. Lenalidomide, pomalidomide, anthalidomide are drugs that strengthen the immune cells so they attack cancer cells and stop the growth of myeloma cells in the blood marrow. Most patients receive treatment with bone-modifying drugs to help strengthen the bone and reduce bone pain and the risk of fractures. A stem cell transplant, also called a bone marrow transplant, is an effective part of treatment for multiple myeloma. Doctors may advise radiation therapy for patients with bone pain when chemotherapy is not effective or the pain is refractory to usual measures. Surgery is not a disease-directed treatment option for multiple myeloma. Palliative treatments focus on reducing symptoms and improving quality of life and often include medication, nutritional support, relaxation techniques, emotional support, and other therapies. For more information about multiple myeloma, list of expert doctors, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.